Welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna play a little bit of a different deck. It's a Chinchino deck with a, that smooth, smooth coat ability. Sorry for that. Um, I can't pronounce that properly, I guess. Um, it just kind of works that way that it tries to not let your opponent attack at all or well not damage not do any damage at all your opponent can still poison or burn or whatever you but uh, any status effect still works but no damage um, well that being you flip heads uh, so there's a 50% chance that your opponent won't do any damage with this attack um, so it just kind of works that way. I got the Kaleo for the float stone stuff, um, and yeah, that's about it. Um, here I'm not really, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna go for the rock guard on my Kaleo because I can't really do anything else, and I kind of want to damage my opponent. I guess. Maybe I can get something good I do. I can get a Minchino, which is fairly nice. I'm gonna get the Call for Family one because if my opponent actually catches me in, I can Call for Family. Or no, actually, I can just evolve it next turn. Oh, yeah, that's what my opponent actually does. He catches me in. That's very nice. But I don't know why. I don't, oh, he probably has two freaking chorus machines. That would be annoying. That would be fairly annoying. Oh no, he doesn't. What? He does not. Okay, um. I guess I'm just gonna go for the. I'm I'm just gonna go back into my uh Kaldiu because I don't feel like I need to have my Chinchino out there. Um I guess if he attacks me he does sixty to himself. That'd be alright. I could retreat and maybe attack him. That'd be pretty nice. I could also attack him with this now. That would be seventy Let's see. He has 80 left. Oh my god. Oh yeah. That means I'm gonna win. Right now. 70 plus the poison. That's a win. Okay, and on to the second match. Which is actually not live. As you can hear, probably. Uh, because, well, I didn't record it live, or I didn't record any audio. It's the same deck again, Chinchino and Floatstone Keldeo for the special conditions. I managed to actually go first, which is very nice because otherwise that could have been an easy one-hit knockout if he had gotten three deoxys down but as I can see he only has one in his hand and I don't know what else he had in his hand but I'm gonna be able to get three Mancino out which is fairly nice for starters anyways and next turn I might actually be able to attack I can play the potion, get rid of the damage, ensure that I won't get knocked out. I can go for the catcher to stall for a bit of time, I guess, and also be able to play the bicycle, which is very nice because it gets me the chinchino. So first chinchino is up, and I'm gonna go for the juniper and get a double colorless, which means now I can attack. I also get a hypnotoxic laser, but for now I'm not gonna play that 
as I don't have a rank city gym in play right now. And he also just goes for the float stone, which means it's definitely better that I just saved the laser, didn't waste it. Here he's gonna feel the wrath of Chinchino, how it doesn't let him attack. And now I could have gone for the laser, and I should have, because I'm actually gonna get a Verbing City Gem from this chorus, which means I could have knocked him out. I do this a few times that I actually catch around the Curum and don't knock it out, which I probably should. And but in the long run, it's gonna help me knock out the Caldeo, which gives me more prizes and is more important overall, I guess. Here I'm just gonna go for the 100 damage, because what else would I do? I have a Juniper for next turn, and a Catcher as well, so not looking too bad, I mean. Uh, the only problem now could be if I stay asleep, because I get because I fall asleep and he's actually gonna hit the 30 damage this time and I am also gonna wake up which is fairly nice uh, here I can go for the Caldeo because I got rid of the float stone or I could also just kill the Kyurem which is the second time I catch it around it now, uh, I get the float stone, very nice as well, and I do get another double colorless energy, which means three Chinchino pretty much ready to go. Uh, I just need to touch one more energy, and then uh, the one on the very left is ready to go. The one with the XP share can be ready to go as well after the other ones die. And uh, yeah, looking fairly good. Now I just need to be very lucky. He gets a Juniper, which is fairly good for him, I guess. But he also has to attach an energy to retreat, or he attaches an energy to retreat. Which means he won't be able to knock my Chinchino out in one hit. Uh, because he only has two Keldeo down. Well, uh... Deoxys down. Well, he wouldn't be able to anyways. Only poison, I guess. He opts to go for the uh, Keldeo again because of Rocky... Uh, not Rocky Helmet. Uh, what's it called? Rock Guard. That's just the power of Rock Guard. Everybody doesn't want to hit you if you have a Rock Guard. If you have rocks lying around you, pretty much. I get another ke uh, potion, which is pretty nice because it means that my Chinchino can't get knocked out by another frost spear. And I get to knock out the Kyurem, finally. He now has another two energy in his discard pile that he can attach to stuff. Uh, I mean, before that, he didn't really have any luck with energies. But now he got the tool scrapper, which is very annoying because he can get rid of my rock guard and my float stone. Uh, so I'm just gonna hope that he doesn't poison me again, but he does. It's very annoying to to get poisoned when playing this deck because it means that you have to switch around and stuff, and you're gonna lose your extra 50 damage. But it doesn't really matter for this right now because my uh, my Chinchino can knock the opposing Keldeo out anyways, no matter what what amount of 50 or 100 damage I do. I go for the Juniper, get my Float Stone, which I was looking for, and I'm gonna play the two level balls because I already played that on my Super Rod, 
and I actually also discarded, discarded my Chinchino. So that means I have to live with three Chinchino in play. So they need to be enough. So that Menchino in my hand right now is of no use at all. He, my opponent, opts to actually uh, go for the Lugia instead of the Curum. I don't know what to think of that, but I guess he had the double colorless and plasma, so that kind of makes sense. And he needs to take prizes fast, I guess. Uh, if he doesn't want me to take even more prizes than him. So here yeah, I'm just gonna thin up my deck a little. Even though that brings me down to a very low amount of cards, which will probably bring me in a little bit of trouble near the end. But I mean, at this point, it's looking very well, fairly well for me. Three prizes left. I have. I guess I can knock out a Kyrim in one hit if I get a, a Hypnotoxic Toxic Laser. Uh, so it's all right. Uh, here he actually gets to attack and gets to take two prizes. Uh, I mean, he could have probably captured in the Caldeo and taken even more, but yeah, whatever. He, he he's gonna it's gonna be an easy prize later on for him. I though have to hope that I'm gonna get a hypnotoxic laser and I know I have one more left in my deck because if I get it which I do that means I can actually knock out the uh, Lugia and it's gonna go down to one prize and now I just need to knock out the Curum to actually win but I can't do that on one hit, so I need to basically hope for a smooth, smooth coat to kind of save me in this situation. Because I guess he, he can definitely knock me out now with uh, the first spear. And that means I won't be able to attack for 100, but only for 50 with my other uh, Chinchino. So now I have 10 damage left on the Caldeo and 60 on the Chinchino. That means I have to retreat right now and attack with the, with the Chinchino because otherwise I don't get enough damage on the board. He can definitely knock my Caldeo out by just going for his Frost Spear, but he can't knock the... he... well, if he if he knocks out the Chinchino, then he won. If he doesn't, then I won. So, whatever attack, attack he goes for right now, if he misses it, I'm gonna win. And I don't know if he he might actually go for the frost spear. Yeah, he went for the frost spear. I don't know why, uh, because that definitely gives me the win. But I think I only just noticed that. <laughs> so that's it. I won using Chinchino against Plasma deck before the for format update was pretty much the best deck in the in the format but well, now it's not so good anymore well it's still good but it needs to run a lot of two scrappers so that's it thanks for watching and until next time